river state has nothing to show for supporting the people democratic party says wiki hello everyone thank you for joining us once again on the channel we'd like to say a very very big welcome to you all especially those of you who are joining us for the very first time please do well to like share and subscribe to our channel now to all of our existing subscribers please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our posts as they come your way uh, we promise to keep bringing you nothing but authentic and verified news happenings around the country thank you very much and god bless you now on today's report governor yes some wiki of river state has this to say that um river state has nothing to show for its years of supporting the pdp now we know that um, there's been a lot of um, with the issues that have been going on between governor yes some wiki and um, the principal of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku um, Abubakar, it has actually brought a whole wave of troubles and all of that. And we see that Wiki and his G5 counterparts have actually withdrawn themselves from anything that is related to the presidential elections um, concerning the PDP. And like they have said openly, they would actually not campaign neither will they vote and the people in their states would actually cast their votes for their principal except their demands are met and their demands being that um iocha ayu who is the national chairman of the party should step down before any reconciliation um process can actually um take place within the party well we see now that we case saying that the um, river state has nothing to show for the years of supporting the PDP. And I, we know that all this is actually stemming from the issues between um, Wiki, the G5, and um, the PDP principal and all of that. Well, we're going to go into the details um, in full. Now, the February 25th presidential election will be used to prove strategic importance of river state in Nigeria's politics, Governor Wilson Wiki has said yesterday. Now, he said that there was nothing to show for the state's support for the People's Democratic Party since 1999, stating that Rivers would no longer be dumping ground. Now, Wiki spoke at the LLS Civic Center, where he kicked off the construction of the LLA internal roads in a query local government area. He reminded the people that River stood strong in the scheme of national affairs, adding that anybody supported by the state should reciprocate the gesture. Now, the governor described as unfortunate that instead of appreciating the reality, some people have been busy issuing political threats against the state. Now, he warned that those dishing out threats should have a rethink to avoid problems. Now, according to him, River State had remained the bedrock of the PDP since 1999, provided the party with bulk of votes and logistics than any PDP state in the country. Now, the governor boasted that there would have been no PDP without River State. He said, despite the state's contributions, there is nothing of note in terms of project that can be reckoned as benefits to justify the support, the governor said. Now, Wiki recalled that Rivers has refused to enter into negotiation with the all-progressive Congress-led government, has done by other states, and did not give President Muhammad Buhari 25% of votes in the 2019 election despite the heavy military presence in the state. Now, he explained that River State ranked above other states and therefore must be treated with respect. Now, ahead of the elections, um, the governor disclosed that some politicians were mounting pressure on the National Assembly to speedily pass the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC 500 billion Naira budget. He said, 
since the NDDC was established, look at the money that has gone into the commission. What can we show for it? The NDDC has become a cash cow for politicians. The president has just inaugurated the new board of the NDDC. You know what is going on now? There is a 500 billion naira budget for NDDC. Election is coming from February 25th. Now what the politicians have done is to put pressure on the National Assembly so that they would pass the 500 billion naira budget for NDDC. He explained that some politicians with vested interest in the 2023 general elections had already determined how the NDDC budget will be siphoned at the detriment of the election. Wiki described as regrettable that those overseeing the affairs of the NDDC have been sons and daughters of the oil producing states. Yet the commission has never deemed it appropriate to seek the input of the state in its budget preparations. He said that the River State Attorney General and the Commissioner for Justice had been mandated to challenge some perceived fraudulent provisions of the budget, such as the allocation of the 60 billion naira for building a spurious safe haven for a particular security agency and 4 billion naira for clearing of gutters in court. The governor lamented that the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs had been rendered redundant as supervision of the NDDC had become the sole responsibility of the minister. Now, speaking on the project, Wiki told the people of LLA that the entire road network in the town would be reconstructed to serve as part of appreciation for their support to his administration since 2015. He explained that all the indigenous contractors being used by his administration have shown capacity and assured that no project would be abandoned. Now, urging them to support his quest for consolidation by voting Simini Alayi Fubara as his successor and Professor Ungozi Odu as his running mate. Now, Wiki assured all that the duo will build on the foundation laid by his administration. Now, providing the description of the project, the River State Commissioner for Works, Dr. George Kelly Dakorinima Alabo, said that the LLA internal roads was awarded to the contractor, Oki and Sons Limited, on the 28th of October 2022. According to him, the nine kilometer will have six kilometer drains with three months completion date. Well, that is it on the details of today's report. Until we'll come your way next time with more news happenings around the country, please do well to stay safe. Bye-bye.